Good morning. The Mass this morning is offered for the, all the faithful, but especially for the repose of the soul of Mary Wilson, Greg Silva, and Wes Gentry. Name the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Well, let us pray. O God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. To all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among his peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's salvation through its origins. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds for all the nations. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I've told you this so that my joy may be in you 
and your joy may be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Love, love, love. Jesus talks a lot about love. The love he has for his Father, the love he has for us, how he loved us and love wasn't answered. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I would have liked to have gathered you under my wings like a hen would with her chicks, but you didn't answer my love. But love is something, at first when you're little, you love things like toys and things, then little bigger toys and whatnot. You love start loving things. And then comes the right person, you get infatuated, which is a sort of kind of love. But all these things are just emotional and just uh, feeling things. Love becomes real when it becomes all of a sudden a decision. Because love is always nice when everything is pink and rosy, but when it's called to come to the cross, all of a sudden, I don't want that kind of love. And that's exactly what God is talking about. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's why the problem came up with the circumcision. And so the people from up north, uh, they sent word down to Jerusalem. They went up and they discussed the issue of circumcision. No, 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 we are not gonna make you being circumcised because that's the old law. Circumcise your hearts, but stay away from false idols, illicit sexual unions, blood and strangled animals. So the people went back home and told the new converts, the new Christians, these four things. Oh, they had no problem with the blood and had no problem with the uh, strangled animals. But all of a sudden it starts hitting home, you know, because you never know. Somebody worshipped a deity, something, and offered some meat, and they invite you for dinner, you come over. Well, you never know. But the clincher was the illicit sexual union not unlawful marriage, which is a bad translation, illicit sexual union. There's any sexual activity outside of the sacrament of marriage. So that made him think, how dare you telling me what to do with my life? But that's exactly what faith is. You take life and then you have got the faith, but they're not two separate things. Faith has to be lived out. So in life, you take in this faith and now through this body, through our life, we start living that faith, but in the body. And we rejoice, maybe not because we, we, we might even not like what we have to do, but we do it out of love for God. And this is what really love is. You might not like to do work some overtime so you can give a nice life to your spouse or children, but you do it because out of love. So once love becomes a decision, life becomes easy and life becomes not easy in a sense that everything is always nice, but it becomes you have made a decision, you stick by that, and so you find that peace that comes with that, and God will reward you for sticking with him. It's not always nice to go, go under the cross, but yet the glory afterwards, that is something to be looked forward to. And God who said he promised that, if you keep my commandment, you will share in your master's joy. Almighty Heavenly Father, thanks and praise to you today for this day. We ask for blessings and graces, your church and your country, we pray to the Lord. We pray in thanksgiving for the surgery well done for Linda and for all the surgeries we had and for the doctors who have been so good, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have rejected God for little things, for earthly things, help them to see the bigger picture, we pray to the Lord and the petitions you have today. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, we thank you, praise you, love you, always in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, so become for us the bread of life. Yes, 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> o God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud it more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Here come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Don, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. <clears throat> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, a virginal spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> Bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always 
free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. So offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Hallelujah. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Bless the mighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, come upon, remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, a Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Good Success, Saint Joseph, all your holy angels and saints, may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Have a blessed day and welcome back. <laughs>